Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Pokemon Pokemon TCG Online. So recently I've gotten into Pokemon. I've been purchasing cards and the cool thing about Pokemon when you purchase cards is that you also get a code to unlock essentially virtual cards so then you can build a deck online as well. So this is my first time going on Pokemon TCGO and I'm going to be trying it out. We're going to be doing this together so I'm going to create an account and we'll see what becomes of this. Maybe you guys will enjoy it, maybe not. Maybe I'll continue to make videos, maybe not. We'll see. But I can definitely say I am enjoying in real life gameplay. So let me know in the comments below if you play Pokemon TCG. Because let me tell you, it is a lot of fun. Okay, so it looks like it's going through a tutorial of what I should do. So I got a basic EV card. Let's take a right look. Right click on the EV to zoom in. As you can see, Eevee is a basic Pokemon attack. Choose on the playmat to unzoom Eevee. So the thing is, I know how to play already, so I don't need to go through this tutorial. But hey, we might as well. So for anyone new to Pokemon and you think it's complicated, you're going to find out how easy it is. Each player starts their turn by drawing a card. Click anywhere to continue. Okay. Energy allows Pokemon to attack. You can attach one per turn. Zack will attach the energy to his wrath attack. Click anywhere to continue. All right, there we go. And then it is my turn. I think it's pretty... Yeah, so now... My turn, I'm going to drag it to Eevee. So now Eevee has one Thunder Energy. And I can attack with Smash Kick. So click on Eevee. Smash Kick. Okay. So let's click on Eevee. Um, boom. Attacked for 10 damage. So now you only have 30 HP left. So the Pokemon have HP. So when I go to Eevee, you see that 50. Alright. So click anywhere to continue. I need a 30 more damage against the enemy's Pokemon. All right, and it's my turn. Draw another energy, so we'll give Eevee my energy. Now I can do my Tail Whop. All right, then that deals 20 damage. All right, so click. All right, cost two. Click and click again. Oh, I got to select which one I'm going to use. So there we go. So the next attack, I'll be able to kill the enemy monster. All right, or I guess knock him out in Pokemon terminology. Make him faint, right? Alright, I got to draw one. You just drew a trainer card. Right click on the potion to take a closer look. Alright, heal 30 damage. Definitely need that. Alright, let's take that quick little heal. Awesome. Oh wait, I want to attack first. And I can attack with my weak attack. And it'll, Oh no, it wants me to use my strong one, but it doesn't matter. He's dead anyways. Alright, there you go. Knockout! Alright, and I take a prize card. Let me select this one right here. It's an energy card. So much energy. All right, they got a, what, a Meowth out, and uh, da, 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 yeah. If I, I think heads, t heads, tails, so he does how much damage? 20 damage against 10 for each heads. I feel like, ooh, Pikachu. Let's summon Pikachu. Let's give an energy to Pikachu. Eevee doesn't need it anymore. And why don't we attack? Boom. All right, we could also retreat, but no need. All right. Again, it, it's literally that straightforward of game. You summon a Pokemon. And then you give it energy, depending on how much energy it has, it can attack or not attack. Like, it's that simple. Alright, my strong quick attack, what is quick attack? Flip a coin, no, I don't need that. We're going to keep attacking with Eevee. Tail, boom. Alright, and then we might put in Pikachu in the next round just for fun. Payday, oh, they killed me anyways. So now Pikachu has to come out. So when a Pokemon faints, you can just summon your other Pokemon. So, there we go. Pikachu's out and about. I'll equip the third energy. I can now do my strong attack now that I need it, but boom, there we go. Oh man, the animation is pretty cool. All right, and I got a and I got a prize card. All right, there we go. So a very quick introduction to Pokemon. It's literally that straightforward. Summon a Pokemon, make sure it has energy to attack, and there we go. All right, it uh, looks like we're gonna keep going through some more tutorial. So the what the heck? Six energy. So choose an active Pokemon. So when Poke when the game starts, you draw two four six seven cards you need to put a basic pokemon onto the field so eevee's basic there we go and then we draw all right so i'm gonna put an energy you're supposed to put six cards into your prize cards but we put two just for tutorial sakes so i put an energy i can't attack on the first turn so you remember the player who goes first can't attack on the first turn make sure to end turn there we go and then it goes over to the opponent ella ella is attacking me so the the enemy, whoever goes second, can attack. If you go first, you can't attack. All right, I'll give Eevee a boost, and I can do my tail attack. There we go. 
and that Jigglypuff has 60 HP, whereas I only have 50. And I've already taken a good amount of damage. Alright, hopefully I draw a Pikachu. There's my Pikachu. Summon Pikachu, give Pikachu energy and attack. That simple. Alright, we'll do Tail. Bam. Alright, if I can get another attack, Pikachu's probably going to get a heads when I flip. Alright, ooh, what happened? It evolved! It evolved! Got hit with a round. Yeah, so you can evolve your Pokemon, just like in the game. Alright, I'm probably going to get a Raichu in the future. Oh, there's a Raichu. You should do a Raichu. Now drag Raichu on top of Pikachu, and I evolved. And I have different attacks, right? I have Thundershock, flip a coin of heads, opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, and Electro Ball, which deals 80 damage. Wow. So we're going to do that. And then, oh, I thought I had three. Guess not. So I guess we do Thundershock, 30 damage. And then, what was it? Tails, so not shocked. Alright, we got another Pokemon there. Alright, she can discard, click anywhere to continue. Alright, so what the what the opponent did right now is they discarded energy from Jigglypuff in order to retreat. Notice that Jigglypuff has a retreat cost. Let's see if we can see it. It is... Where is that retreat cost? Oh, right there. Right below the weakness. Right here. Retreat cost. So that's why that was done. I took extra damage because that... Pokemon has an elemental advance against me, right? The weakness there. It's I don't even know what the elements are here. It's like ground, uh, but we'll give a boost, and I can do my strong electro ball attack, which kills him in one attack. There we go, because I have a lot of HP. And gets a select a prize card. All right, opponent's turn. Oh, I should have summoned Pikachu. My bad. All right, luckily I'm I'll be okay. Uh, summon Pikachu. We'll heal. Uh, prize card on Pikachu. Now that it's needed. Because we're going to knock you out. Oh, I guess the battle will continue. Um, for fun, let's do Thundershock. It doesn't really matter. I, I, anything will kill. I'll get my price card. I actually won the game. Alright, there we go. Success, Pokemon, guys! I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Once I get... Like, the deck I'm using right now in real life is Inteleon V. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. Alright, looks like I got some coins. I wonder if I can... Great job. Let's see how you do against other trainers. Defeat them to earn Booster Pack and Powerful Pokemon V. Good luck. My name is Calvin. Looks like you're we're up next. So it looks like you guys are getting a whole introduction to Pokemon. So yeah, let's take on Calvin. So here is a full hand. Choose a Pokemon to be your active Pokemon. So I get to choose between two. So let's see what he does. Light Punch for 10. Ambush flip a coin. The attack does 20 more damage. Or Pikachu. Um, since I know I have a Raichu, I think I'll start with... I'll start with him. And then you can also start with Pokemon in the bench. So any basic Pokemon you can put onto your field. Oh wow, I even have an elemental advantage. So reveal the top card of your deck if the Pokemon is a basic, attach it. Alright, so he's doing a trainer card. He gets a quick little energy. My turn, remember, he could not attack first turn, but I can. So I kind of want to flip this 10 more. I should have put Pikachu in the front. Alright, so heal 60 damage. I don't need to do that yet. Heal 30, I don't need to do that yet. So we're going to give it to my main Pokemon. And now I can attack with Light Punch, which will deal even more damage. Wait, how does it not deal more damage? Weakness. Oh, I thought it was going to be Thunder. All right, Professor's Letter allows the opponent to search for two energy. There we go. Deck is shuffled. Water Splash attack me for 30 damage. Yikes. All right, let's see what I got. Sparrow. We're going to put Sparrow there. Um, 10 damage is not what I would like. But now we get an Ambush. So we're going to do that. And just in case he evolves or something, I'm going to heal by 30. All right, and now I'm going to attack with Ambush. So this is where I can deal some more damage. Ambush. I got a Tails, unfortunately, so it's only 20. Could have been 40. All right, opponent goes. Attack me with Water Splash again. And again, got that extra boost. All right. And I'm going to start giving it to Pikachu. And in the meantime, I'm going to attack with Ambush. Come on, give me that heads. Come on. Oh, there we go. Boom. OTK. All right, Squirtle's dead. I get a prize card. I get to choose one. All right. I don't think I'll even really need to use them, though. Who are we facing? All right. That's not bad. Tails. All right. And what is this? Switch. Switch active Pokemon with one of your bench. Oh, cool. And But I don't really get much of a benefit from that. Let's summon him for fun. I could heal, but I don't need a heal. Um, so we're just going to go for the ambush attack. Whoops. Click ambush. And it's a tails. 
All right, next, let's have out a kill him and I'll collect my prize card and that's a win. I could put Pikachu out for fun. Lunge, heads, 30 damage. Or I can just attack. Um, but for fun here, I'll do switch. So this is a trainer card. So choose a Pokemon to become your active. I want Pikachu to become the active. So I'll click on Pikachu. They switch. I'll give my final boost. And then I'll attack with Electro Ball. 50 damage. All I needed was 20. And there we go. I got to be careful with the mouses because then it makes the card big. But there we go. I defeated Calvin. All right. On to the next one. So I think we'll finish this tutorial. This will be the first video. And then I'll go into putting my codes from my cards. Because, again, every time you purchase um, a pack of cards in real life or a deck in real life, you get the virtual copy of it. So um, that's pretty fun and exciting. All right. We're going to start with Pikachu this time. We'll put Electro Buzz on the bench. All right. And what do we have? Grimer. Turn all prize cards face up. What? Okay. So he gets to see his prize cards. That's cool. That's cool. All right, what does he do? Lure poison. Flip a coin. If head switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the defending Pokemon, the new defending Pokemon is not poisoned. And sludge toss 30 damage, but you need a lot of energy for that. Tackle for 10 damage. Double spin. Flip two coins. 20 damage times the number of heads. All right, that's not too, too bad. Um, I am going to do, what is this? Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight and put one of them into, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to do energy. I don't know what I would want to discard, so we're going to save that trainer card for now. And we're just going to attack with Quick Ball. So click, Quick Ball. Let's hope it's, nope. All right, there we go. Opponent's turn. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty self-explanatory, too. That's awesome. Tails. All right, so nope. Electro Bus stays there. We're going to do energy. I feel like I only have energy. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Uh, let's see click on it. So I'm gonna discard my energy and look there's a Raichu. There's a Sparrow that'll allow me to put the other Pokemon out All right, what is that search the deck? Search the deck for a Pokemon that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon This counts as evolving the Pokemon what? Shuffle your deck afterward. You can't use this card during the first turn on a Pokemon that was put into the play So it's a way to evolve a Pokemon. Ooh, I can evolve Sparrow. I don't have a Sparrow though. Alright, looks like I'm going to get Raichu then. That just makes the most logical sense. Done. Alright, there we go. And I think that's... Oh, I can evolve now. Boom! Alright, when a Pokemon evolves, it keeps all the energy and damage counters. Any special conditions are removed. Got it. Thank you, Zach. So now I can do Thundershock. Boom! 30 damage. So next turn, I'll be able to kill him. Unless he swaps me out with Electro Buzz, that's possible. 30 damage. Oh no, he just did a Sludge Toss. Oh look, I just got a heal. So there's the heal. And we're even going to give him a boost so I can do my stronger attack. But we only need Thundershock to win, so there we go. And I'll collect a prize card. Every time you kill a Pokemon, you get a prize card. Or knock out a Pokemon. So, watch it be an energy. Oh no. It's another healing one. Okay, I might need that. So what do we have in Ekans? Ekans can do bites. Flip a coin. If heads, draw three cards. Cool, cool. Yeah, Ekans can do bite, but it requires two energy. It only has one right now. Oh, that Pokemon evolved. When a Pokemon evolves. All right, I'm probably going to have to cancel that. Weezing. When this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard three cards from your opponent. All right, that's not too bad. Um, we're going to summon another Pikachu. And it looks like we're going to attack, and we can actually OTK. Electro Ball deals 80 damage. One thing about Pokemon that I feel like is whoever sets up first and gets the stronger Pokemon out, it's hard to come back from that. It's really, really hard to come back from that. All right, we have Coffee, and I can also kill Coffee in one attack. All right. We're going to start boosting over here just in case I need it. And we're going to Electro Ball. Yeah. Easy. That's how strong. It's 80 damage per attack. Ooh, I got a... Draw three cards. Just like that. Snap of a finger. Draw three cards. Let me get like a sparrow or something. I wonder how many cards I have left. I have 22 left. Look, I just got them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use them. I think I just click anywhere. Yeah. What does this do? Search your deck for two basic energy. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. I don't really need to do that. For fun, I'll give it over here. And, oh, he'll survive. Uh, we'll do Electro Ball. Boom. All right, we are solid. 
heals 30. That's not enough. That is not enough, my friend. I right, got second energy, Smog Bank. Oh, wow, deals 20 to every Pokemon. Okay, um, we're just going to go ahead and heal. Not needed, but I want to beat you with my full life. There we go, 80 damage. Bam. All right, and victory. Again, I know how to play Pokemon. Hopefully, I'm kind of going through this tutorial fast while also trying to explain it. Hopefully, it makes sense to someone out there. But if not, I can actually go through it and explain it myself. All right, let's see. It's because it's a pretty straightforward game. We're going to battle Otis. All right, Otis, let's see what you have. Voltor, Pikachu. Okay, cool. So I do have his evolution. Static Shock and Electro Ball deal 60. Whereas, yeah, so I think it makes the most sense. I'll put that as my main one, and I'll put Pikachu in the bench. All right, there's the six prize cards. Oh, no, we have Scyther. Scyther, 10, 20. Oh, that's not too bad. And switch. A bicycle, draw a card since so you have four in your hand. I don't need that. We're going to put it on Voltorb and we're going to finish. So next turn I'll be able to Static Shock. Alright, I got hit for 10. That's fine. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do that. Evolve. It's still 20 damage regardless. And we are going to attack. Uh, let's see. Static Shock. Boom. 20 damage, so it'll take 20, 40, 60. It'll take 4 attacks. In the meantime, let's see, he got healed by 30. Headbutt and Bite. Okay, that's not bad. Weedle, Triple Staff, Flip 3 Coins 10 times. Okay. And then Sharp Scythe is what he's doing now. Choose 1. Draw cards so you have 5 in your hand. During this turn, the Pokemon attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active. That's cool. So I can do 60. And then I can do this. To make my attack 80. So now when I attack with Electro Ball, it's GG. Scyther is dead. And I get to get a prize card. And that adds energy to my hand. And now we gotta deal with the other Pokemon 60 damage. I just so happen to deal 60 damage. So he's gonna get OTK'd. Otis, you ain't got nothing on me. Alright, he got to draw his three. Oh, that evolved. Don't show again. Alright, so what do you do? He's going to add basic energy to his hand. Alright, nature and dark. Double hit. So flip a coin. Oh, thank goodness it was not more heads. So it would have been 20 and then strength deals 50. Alright, so now I can start giving Pikachu some energy. We'll put Eevee out in case we need it. Draw card until you have 4. I don't need to do that. I don't need. No, I'm good right now. So I am just going to attack Electro Ball. So next attack ought to do it. Even if he heals. Heal 30, ideal 60 into 90, yeah, we'll be good. Double hit again, he got a heads, got two heads, that's 40 damage to me. Ooh, I can only take one more attack. Um, he has, enter yeah, so all he needs to do is summon one Pokemon and attack me and they'll get a card. Um, I could retreat, switch one active Pokemon. I could retreat, um... I think I will retreat. Draw a card so you have four in your hand. Switch. We'll do a switcheroo. Bam. And then we'll do bicycle. Maybe. No, you know what? I'll save. No, no, no. I will. I'll do bicycle. Maybe I can draw something good. So this will let me draw so I have four cards in hand. So I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Look at this. Evolve. Select one card that evolves from one Pokemon in play. So Raichu. And we are... What else do I have? Alright, and we are done. Alright, so I basically have Raichu. Alright, Thunder Shock deals 30 damage. Perfect! That's exactly what I needed. That card came in clutch. Oh, let's try to do this. Let's try to draw three cards for fun. Um, heads. Perfect. Uh, what does this do? Show for your hand, flip a coin. If heads draw seven, or if not, draw four. And very cool. Let's see. He's a basic. Call for family. Search your deck for two basic. Put them onto your bench. That's pretty good. Uh, Comet Punch. Flip four coins. This attack does 20 damage. Oh, cool. Um, so I'm just going to play him for fun. I don't really need to do that. Uh, we're just going to attack for Thundershock. And that will take him out. Yeah, now that I have Raichu. And I'm going to have the Electro Ball next turn. Dealing 80 damage. I'm going to be solid. Yeah. And I saved my Electrode as well. Tails and tails, thank goodness. And tails again. 
Okay, yeah, he's only 50. So we'll boost. And we are just going to Electro Ball. Click Electro Ball, and Weedle is dead. Awesome. Get my prize card. It's my draw three. Oh, by the way, in, in Pokemon, there is no hand limit. You can have as big as hand as you want to or need to. Watch here. We'll try to we'll try to get a maximum hand size. Awesome. Got three. Got another Pikachu. We're not even gonna summon anyone. All right. Let's just Electro Ball. Once you play an attack, you can't attach energy or play another card. Yes, that's fine. Oh yeah. So the very last thing you do in Pokemon is attack. Once you attack, there is no main phase two. There's not a chance to attach more energy. Once you attack, it's game over. Oh, it's turn over, not game over. All right, this attack does 20 damage to one of your bench. This attack does 20 more damage for each um, wild in your opponents. Okay, that's fine. We are going to, we are going to do Electro Ball. Oh, wait, 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 no. No, 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 no. We want to try to draw. I just want to show you guys that there is no limit to what hand size you can get. All right, Sparrow, I can summon him for fun. Uh, but we are just gonna Electro Ball. That's fine. Boom. Because I could be attaching energy right now. And I should be. Realistically, in a real game, you would be attaching energy. Shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon. All three energy into the deck. Okay. Alright, how much did that deal? 30. Oh, 20 to your own? I thought it was 20 to me. Oh, wow. That's not that good. Boom. Damages your own Pokemon. Uh, as you can see, my hand size is enormous, but again, no limit to how many Pokemon you can have in hand. Alright, Otis, look like I took you down. Alright, and we're just going to finish off with Electro Ball and GG. Yeah, great way to learn, going through the tutorial. Again, but it, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy, it's really fun. I can't stress enough how fun this is. Alright, so we took him down. We took down Otis, we took down everyone, we got some coins along the way. It looks like I got a Crobat V, which is perfect because I need that for my main deck. Uh, congratulations, here are your words. Let's head over to the collection to open your booster pack. So my very first booster pack opening online. So Sword and Shield series, Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage booster pack. And let's see, I can't trade it. Normally you'd be able to trade it looks like. I don't know what this is, I don't know what that is. Wanted for review. Alright, looks like I clicked on it, open pack. All right, building your pack. Please wait while we build your pack. Okay, open your new booster. Oh wow, you actually get to tear it like you're actually doing it in person. Oh, this is really cool. All right, did I get anything really good? Let's see. Okay, so everything has just been common cards right now. Who cares about those? I guess I can trade them if anyone wants them. Um, what the heck? <laughs> and I get to select one of those. I'm gonna select the one on the right. You always go right. And it is a Pikachu VMAX. You may discard our energy from this Pokemon. If you do this, attack deals 150 more damage. So it can deal 270 in an attack. All right. Um, I wonder what the other card is. Oh, I get them both. Yes. I'm going to get a Metagross. Looks to open some good um, cards. This Pokemon in play have... Wait, your Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. That's a cool ability. Stage 2 evolves from Metatang. All right. Lightquake. If the defending Pokemon is evolution, it can't attack. All right, cool, cool. So I got a Pikachu VMAX, daily challenges. Daily challenges give you rewards for completing them. You can see daily challenges in your profile. Do 200 damage to opposing Pokemon. And I'm assuming this will help me um, get coins, which I can use for packs. Okay. So let's see. How do we start? Audex, Lightning, Grass, Psychic, Audex. So it looks like you do not have any decks that match the search criteria. You can get them in the shop. Let me click on the shop. Let me just look around for a bit. So, the newest set, yes. There's a Pokemon starter deck. I have 250 coins, and then I can redeem codes. Alright, so I can buy a pack for 200. So I can get one free pack, essentially. Um, but, again, this is where you redeem your codes. Upgrade to full account. You need to upgrade to full account to access these parts of the game. Okay, so, I... I guess you're probably going to have to be an adult, so 18 years or older, in order to be able to do this. Because this is where it involves real money purchasing from... Um, in real life, but if not, you can just have fun by playing with their free games, it looks like. So if I click on the cards, collection, deck manager, click on play, trainer challenge versus, this is where you guys would be able to play against me. 
if you guys decide to play Pokemon. And it looks like you get to create an avatar, but that's on the full account. All right, collection. Yeah, you can look at the collection without a full account. So wait, are these my Pokemon? What? I got Articuno already. Blaziken. All right, these must be those introductory decks. I did get Crobat V. Awesome. Uh, trade locked. Can I unlock it? I don't want to trade him though. He's one of my favorite. How do I put? Wanted. You have tagged this card as wanted. This will tell other players you're willing to trade other cards for it. You can see what cards you have tagged as um, as one in your collection. Okay, so wanted. Okay, so is it okay when it's blue? It's wanted. All right, cool. So as I was mentioning earlier, I run Inteleon V for those of you that are familiar with Pokemon. So it's gonna be fun. Or does this have everyone? No, it doesn't have everyone. Gyarados. He looks cool. All right, so we're gonna exit out. I gotta get it. I gotta get familiar with this setup. But I mean. Let's see, let's click on here, access, okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade to a full account, but there we go guys, Pokemon, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below, thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.